In this demonstration we're going to look at installing the remote desktop gateway. The purpose of this is to allow me to access my back-end RDPS servers by using the gateway server. We can then come in by using things like HTTPS, so RDP over HTTPS. What the gateway server will then do is just strip that off and pass everything through on port 3389. So it means that we have to open up limited ports on the firewall. To install it, all we need to do is just come into Server Manager. Once Server Manager launches up, next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to add the roles. Right, so here we are. So all we'll do is just come into the roles, click Add Roles, click Next on the Before We Begin, and in the case of the server roles here, we're just going to select Remote Desktop Services, select Next, Select next again, and then in the case of the role services here, we're just going to select the remote desktop gateway. Add all the required services. Select our next button. Next thing we're going to do here is on the choose a server authentication certificate, we're just going to create a self-signed certificate and select next. We'll now create our authorization policy for the remote desktop gateway. We'll do that later, so we'll do that in another demonstration. Click Next. On the Network Access Policy Services page, we'll just select Next. On the Role Services, we'll verify that the Network Policy Server is indeed selected. Select Next. On the IIS Web Services here, we'll just read the summary and select Next. On the Select Role Services, we'll just ensure that we do have the Web Services up and running, which we do. We'll just stick with the defaults and select Next. Next thing to do here, just select Install. What we'll do is we'll pause the video and return back once the installation is complete. Okay, now installed, so we'll just click the close button. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.